that and competing for jobs at Starbucks or Burger King. All right, let's get to the main event. Uh, first, uh, again, I'll reiterate a lot of the tools I use to handle customer service and make more money are in the free automation book I give you for listening to this podcast. So I don't need to go over all those tools because they're in the book. All you got to do is download it for free. We charge 27 bucks on the open market for it. You get it free. Go get it. Don't make me come over there. <laughs> I love to say that. <laughs> all right, super fast customer service. And, and I'm going to call this the current buzzword of the industry, which is customer experience. Sometimes you see it abbreviated CX, customer experience. And it kind of cracks me up that people jump on these bandwagons uh, like the newest, like this was the newest idea on earth. <laughs> All right, so I've been treating my customers great since 1977 when I first started in business. So, you know, I love doing it and they love the service they get. But I'm going to go ahead and, and tell you about some of the latest studies and what it can mean to you to create a great customer experience. Now, a walkerinfo.com study found that by the end of 2020, customer experience will overtake price and product as the key brand differentiator. However, I think they may be a little behind the times because a Gartner a customer experience survey, and this was two years ago, 2018, said that 66% of companies now compete on customer experience instead of all the other things, price and product and everything, and that's up from 36% in 2010. So it's going to be higher than that now. People are competing on the experience, not just a cheaper cost or the quality of the product. Of course, we want that to be great, but it doesn't matter if the customer doesn't feel they got a great experience dealing with your company. Now, these studies were big companies with lots